everybody. Welcome to Lisa Simmons Art. Today I'm going to be working on a piece that is going to be used in my kitchen. I just moved in. I have a brand new apartment with my boyfriend and our kitchen colors are copper and turquoise. So I needed a piece for the kitchen to cover the breaker box cover, which I don't know why they put that in the kitchen, but it's right in the middle of the kitchen and it's very ugly. So um, I decided to do a paint pour using my colors of copper, turquoise, and black. The manufacturer's name and the color names will be listed in the video descriptions. This is a 16 by 20 canvas and I'm going to do a flip cup on this and I've already mixed Spot On Treadmill Lubricant into my copper and my turquoise colors. I didn't put that in the black because I don't want any cells coming up in that part of the painting. So let's get started. I did the calculations and for a 16 by 20 canvas, I'm supposed to use around 14 ounces of paint. I usually don't work on a canvas this large, so I actually had to look that up. And I'm just going to be doing this same combination all throughout the cup. I love this color combination together. And for those of you who watch me regularly, you know turquoise is my favorite color. This is a 20 ounce cup, so I believe I've got probably close to 14 ounces in here now. I may have a little bit too much paint, but I'd rather have too much than not enough. Okay, what I'm going to do now is just make a X in here to kind of mix up the paint, but not too much. This is the tricky part for me to flip this onto this large canvas. I'm just going to let that sit there for a few minutes to give the paint time to run all the way down to the bottom of the cup. You don't have to wait like this, but I like to because it seems like the colors come out better for me. Let's lift the cup and see what we have here. Oh wow, I see lots of cells already. I like to let the paint sit on the canvas for a few minutes so it has time to spread and cells can come up from below. Okay, we've waited about three minutes, so what I'm gonna do at this point is get my torch out and torch this. Torching brings up other cells that are beneath the paint and it also pops air bubbles. You don't have to torch, but I like to, mainly because I like playing with fire. <laughs> Just kidding. I use a propane torch that comes from a plumbing supply. You can use butane, it doesn't really matter. See more cells coming up. So I'm really liking this part here with all the cells, but I love all this copper over here. So I have to decide how I want to tilt this. And I'm going to use my hand as a dam so the paint doesn't run completely off the canvas. And I'm going to tilt back to center, and I think I'm going to come this way with it next. Again, I'm going to use my hand as a dam. And I'm just taking my hand along the sides and making sure the sides are covered in the corners. Now for my final corner. I was almost afraid I wasn't going to have enough paint, but I think I have just about the perfect amount. I'm loving the copper in this. Wow, that's pretty awesome. I think I want to torch this again one more time just to see what else may come out. I run my hand along the edges under the canvas and that's so that the paint that's underneath doesn't pull the paint from the canvas. The weight of it can actually pull it all down. Oh, I'm really loving that. And torch it one more time. Well, I'm really happy with this piece and I think this is going to go perfect in our kitchen. I'd like to thank you for watching. Please stay tuned for close-ups. And if you like what you saw, please subscribe and don't forget to click the notification bell so you don't miss any of my future videos. I'll see you next time. Bye. I just wanted to give you guys a shot of the completed painting in my kitchen and here it is it's covering an ugly breaker box and I'm really quite happy with it it goes with my
copper and turquoise themed kitchen. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I'll see you next time. Bye.